Well, this is a bit different today. I bet you can't guess where I am today. <coughs> yeah, you probably guessed it, River Trent. But this is Fiskerton. But the New York Piscatorial stretch. And here I am, sat on my peg. And uh, look at that tree opposite. And I've drawn peg two. It's, a, it's what they call the private stretch. And it's all tree lined and I've had to dig my sand in a bit, but you know, it's what it is. I mean, this is not a normal match length, but we're in on Saturday for the feeding national. So 60 of us have come along today for practice up and down here. Rolleston's further down, the next section down. But these don't get match fished, as you can probably see behind me. And you can see there, look, that's a bit of a goat, but anyway, it's what it is. This type of fishing you have to put up with it sometimes, that's what it is. And, but this is peg two, and it's not a good area apparently, but I, I'm not sure how they know, because they don't match fish it. But further down there, that one to about ten is not great. So that's my section, one to, I think one to ten is my section. And then eleven to fifteen or fourteen, that's where Bream live. So it's about where you can see there on my bank. And they catch big weights of Bream there. And uh, be interesting to see if they feed today. Be interesting to see what happens. Um, so, but this is my pig. When I'm going to catch, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I know they catch some perch down here, and it's any method today. You can fish pole, but I'm, uh, because I'm practicing for feeder national on Saturday, and I could be here. I've only set feeder rods up, I've only set two up. Uh, as you can see, they're a bigger and a bigger one, and it's deep here. It's quite deep. That's probably why they don't catch a lot of you know small fish. So. I've been told I might catch some perch inside. Um, I don't think I'll catch today, so I think I've got to fish a big fish really. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fish probably towards that big tree, which is about 40 yards, and uh, just fish there, I think, and fish probably ground bait feeder to start with, see if I can get a bream or two, and, uh, and then probably maggot feed and see what happens. I've chucked a bomb across, it's about eight foot even there at side of tree. So uh, it'll be interesting today how we're casting and everything. But, it's what it is, it's natural fishing and you've got to expect this. Um, but I've never ever been here before. I've actually drawn further down, we had a feed of national a few years ago further down. You can see a barge, little barge coming up, that'll just cock it up a bit more. Man, it might put some colour in, to be honest with you. But uh, So, we could be further down. But sorry, further down I've, um, I've fished in a, a, a feed of national. Telford press and we actually won it on the day um, so that, that were nice and uh, it's a bit different down there it's a bit shallower gravel is more barbel down there uh, more days it's just different but here it, it, it looks on it apart from that tree if that tree up there it looks horrific might look nice on the camera but I can assure you there'll not be no small fish here so look at that that barge is just coming through just to start it match absolutely cock on that but anyway not to worry so basically ground bait, I've got my ground bait, oh you can see my ground bait, I've got some worms, I'm going to have a go for bream to start with. Um, I've got my casters, my hemp, maggots, I've got my fulca bait, my black fulca bait, but I don't think that'll be going in today because I'm not expecting any barbel. I might put a bit of colour bait in. Uh, and to be honest with you, that's about it. No fancy, and that's it, just hope I catch some, like I said, hope I catch a cup of bream. Um, and and maybe a, a few chub under that tree, small chublets, and see what happens. And I'll let you know on my Facebook page later on how we go on. But it, we're here to practice for that feeder national on Saturday, so got to fish it, got to have a look. And because uh, I could be here on Saturday, or one of us could be a Saturday. You look at that, boy, doesn't it look fishy that? Them trees here, and it's windy. We're on the back of the tree, I'm red hot, I can't even feel any wind. So there he is, look, Mr. Barge. How about that start coming up, start it, Max? Look, that was just. I mean Colin Finley up at uh, Aaron Tattle and tell him there's a barge on trend. That will upset him for a day. All the best, Cole. Have a great day.